Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the iron deficiency anemia. Few aspects of the iron deficiency anemia will be discussed here in this part. Let's see what the points to be discussed here. First of all, a brief introduction. Then comes uh, something about anemia. Then what is iron deficiency anemia. Then comes uh, the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. Takeaway messages followed by the references. Regarding anemia, it is considered to be when the hemoglobin amount is less or the amount of uh, RBC is less in the body. You can see in the picture, it's a normal, there is enough amount of RBC in the anemic patient, less amount of RBC is present. Now, what is iron deficiency anemia? As the name implies, when there is deficiency of the iron in the body, then it causes iron deficiency anemia. It is very much prevalent in case of the woman and in those people who actually intake low iron diet for long period of time. Our statistics is given here. And in case of the Indian adolescence girls, found to be 50% of the Indian adolescence girls are suffering from the iron deficiency anemia. And the main cause behind that is the less intake of iron in the diet. Let's discuss about the iron deficiency anemia symptoms. At a glance, we can see in the picture that uh, different body aspects have been affected by iron deficiency anemia, like the eye, skin, respiratory system, then muscular system, then blood vessels, low blood pressure is there. There is problem in the heart also, and also in the central nervous system. Let's go in detail. So this type of anemia develops very slowly and body used to adapt that. So for that reason, like other diseases, it can be diagnosed uh, profoundly because there is adaptation by our body. First symptom is fatigue. Fatigue we all know that uh, less amount of working capacity. When a person is fatigued, uh, he or she cannot continue the work for a long period of time and feels very much tired. The next symptom is pale skin, that means the normal color of the skin will be pale enough and there will be no luster, no brightness in the skin. Weakness, as I have already told that uh, fatigue means uh, weakness of the body, very much feeling of tiredness because, because there is less amount of oxygen uh, is distributed all throughout the body due to anemia, that means less amount of hemoglobin is present to actually supplies the oxygen throughout the body so the muscle will be weakened enough after a period of work. Shortness of breath. It's very natural because as the amount of uh, RBC and the hemoglobin is low that means less amount of oxygen will be distributed all throughout the body and there will be shortness, dizziness. All the bodies, every part is now suffering from less amount of oxygen. So it will be same for the brain also. The nervous system also will receive less amount of oxygen and there will be a dizziness. Crawling feelings in the lower extremities. As because less amount of oxygen is supplied there along with the nutrients, so there will be a trembling in the leg muscles and uh, there will be a cramping sensations. Cold hands and feet. That means a uh, Temperature regulation is also disturbed. Irregular heartbeat means uh, steady heartbeat we know that uh, average 80 beats per minute. Uh, in a uh, range we can say 72 to 80 beats per minute in case of an adult human being. But in case of uh, patient suffering from iron deficiency anemia, uh, we can see that uh, there is irregular heartbeat means sometimes uh, the, palpation, the, the palpitation is very high and sometimes it is very low. Brittle nails, means nails are not uh, steady, they are very much fragile, they are not uh, strong enough. It's continued with other symptoms. Shortness of the tongue, means the tongue will be appears like uh, very much dry, uh, not uh, without any moisture and uh, there is no smoothness of the tongue. Pika, 
Tica is a very important uh, symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. Uh, it is a disease also uh, called a psychological disorder in which a person used to eat some other things which are not considered as food like uh, chalk, then mud, paper, uh, pencil, eraser, uh, etc. So this is a problem which is called pica. Oozing in the ears. That means there is always an oozing sound in the ear due to less amount of oxygen content. Loss of air. Naturally, when there is less amount of uh, blood and less amount of uh, hemoglobin and RBC is there, so less amount of oxygen will be distributed all throughout the body. So there will be loss of air. Angular chelitis. Now it's also known as angular stomatitis. It's an inflammation and small cracks in one or both corners of the mouth. And uh, due to accumulation of saliva in both corners of the mouth, there is every possibility of accumulation or formation of microorganisms which can cause infection. So this is angular chelitis or angular stomatitis. Next come poor appetite. Actually, patients suffering from iron deficiency anemia do not want to eat the food uh, due to lack of appetite. They actually uh, don't feel any urge to have the food. Dysphagia. It's also a problem that is very common in the patients of iron deficiency anemia. Mm, it is difficulty in swallowing. That means when we eat something, it's mixed with the saliva. When we, when we chew that, and then we engulf that and it goes through the esophagus smoothly to the stomach. But in case of iron deficiency anemia patient, it is not true. There is difficulty in swallowing. It's due to dry mouth. That uh, shortness of the tongue is, uh, can be considered as one of the main problem over there. So this type of patient suffers from dehydration also. Now symptoms in the case of the child development. So far we have discussed that is regarding the adults. Now, what happens in case of a child? If a child is suffering from iron deficiency anemia, due to their developmental period, this anemia, if occurs, poor neurological development as well as disturbed motor function. It's very natural because neurological development depends on a huge amount of oxygen and nutrients. Both are deficient in case of this and iron is also very much required. Motor functions are very much disturbed. That means the movement of the leg and the hands that will be very much fatigued, very much weak due to the absence of iron or less amount of iron present in the daily diet. And also um, according to uh, the symptoms, less amount of oxygen will also be uh, distributed all this area. Now the takeaway message is that iron deficiency anemia is that type of anemia which actually occurs due to the, uh, uh, due to the uh, negligency of taking enough iron uh, in the daily food. Now iron is very important because uh, it is the iron which actually incorporates into the hemoglobin and that hemoglobin is incorporated into the RVC uh, which helps in the distribution of oxygen all throughout the body as well as distribution of nutrients also all throughout the body. So it also helps in uh, maintaining the buffer system, uh, pH, etc. Uh, so if uh, enough iron is not taken in the daily diet, then uh, there is every chance of iron deficiency anemia. It also happens mainly in the case of the woman uh, when there is a, uh, means a loss of blood during the menstrual cycle. And uh, in case of the pregnant woman also, when huge amount of food is required for the mother and the baby, and it has been often seen that uh, this food contains less amount of iron. So iron deficiency anemia is a very complicated thing. And as we can see that pale skin, etc. related complications are cardiac failure, frequent infections, etc. So few references are there for your further study. So thank you very much for patience listening. Uh, if uh, you are, you think that uh, this is helpful to you, then please share it and keep in touch. And uh, we will continue this uh, in the next part where we will discuss about the different uh, causes of iron deficiency anemia. Thank you. Goodbye.